And so it was a, an opportunity to, to do something. When we started the experience in Chambéry, we already had um, pedestrian areas um, in, in the center. There was a whole uh, area that was purely pedestrian, and what, what that means is uh, turning, uh, uh, putting the, the pedestrians in a ghetto. It's a, it's a, a sub, subtle way of segregating space. In the, in the new uh, neighborhoods that were developed in the 70s, like in many, many other um, cities, um, the, the desire to share space also existed, but the difficulties were much greater. The idea was to go back to a, a, a period uh, before uh, when um, the, the sharing of the space seemed to be totally acceptable, like in this um, image of uh, Place de la Concorde in Paris in 1905. Um, the, the, the problem was to find a, a legal uh, a, a form of legislation that allowed this sharing and all we had at the time was um, the possibility of creating pedestrian areas where cars might be tolerated. The, uh, finding a way, a, a legal way to create these uh, shared spaces is quite complicated and we had in France this decree of 1967 uh, which allowed us to, to, to start on these areas in Switzerland they have not had that and they have not been able to implement these kind of uh, areas until very recently when the, the new bit of legislation has been introduced. So stick and carrot is the, is the, the, the principle behind this, this scheme and the, the, the thing is to try to cajole and convince the driver to take, um, to, to be considerate towards the pedestrian uh, uh, but as this is not necessarily uh, sufficient uh, and as the car is dangerous, there also has to be a, a stick um, regulations against the car. Uh, no, no, no need to convince you that the car is dangerous, it's pretty obvious. Even this one, which is a, an urban car, is dangerous by definition. So a few principles to uh, reduce the danger and the, the, the domination by uh, the cars. Give it less space. First. So um, one way is to eliminate one of the, um, the um, corridors, the car corridors, that is not absolutely essential in the center of town and replace it by a pedestrian way. Um, give pedestrians spaces which improve the quality of the, the um, urban experience and reduce at the same time the space for the car. Um, put the pedestrians at the same level, i.e. Uh, eliminate the difference between the, the, the footpath and the, and the carriageway and put the pedestrians on a, on a major platform. So here's a, one of the first examples it was the, the crossing of a, of a road uh, within the pedestrian zone. So the, the pedestrian zone was interrupted by uh, or was crossed by, by a road but the pedestrians had the platform and had the priority and that's 30 years ago, more than 30 years ago. And thereafter, all pedestrian crossings were put at the level of the footpath, i.e. they were uh, raised to the level of the footpath. So the, that's the principle throughout the, the city was that the uh, pedestrians wouldn't change level uh, and if possible they wouldn't change the, the material, the floor material wouldn't change either. So the, uh, the uh, pedestrian has an, the, the, its domain, the domain of the pedestrian has a uh, identity and um, a legibility. So we had to introduce new signs as well for this legibility. So they, they, um, they did quite a lot of research in, uh, in signing, signposting uh, <coughs> for this new uh, way of, of, of reading the city uh, with the, the shark teeth, the uh, the image of the, the, the pedestrian run over like a, like a frog um, on the motorway um, and the, the yellow barriers and what you see there is a group of handicapped people who are testing um, the, new, the new system. Uh, what you have there is a school, the orange building is a school and what they've, they've done there is to, to scatter signs on the, on the um, carriageway uh, which, which gives the, which signalizes that, that this is a new place. The, the uh, shark teeth um, are in the, in, in the uh, inverse uh, way that they are normally um, and they, there was a lot of um, legal debate in France. They were, they were forbidden originally and then they were, they were accepted finally but they had to be turned around.
Les mesures de réduction de la vitesse diverses et variées, les chicanes. So she gains to reduce the speed. Voici une importante sur une route très rapide près d'une école où il y avait eu un mort à la suite de quoi nous avons fait cet aménagement. That example is a, a fairly important um, chicane design near a school uh, where there had been one um, fatal accident and uh, therefore they had to they had to look at the, the whole design of the of, of the Prussian school. Autre chicane. Devant la, devant la gare, in front of the station. des ré rétrécissements de rues et des bosses. So the, the bus, the hums and the of the, of quelques the exemples. Streets. Un rétrécissement important à droite dans un quartier difficile. La photo de gauche montre comme, comme la, la route est dangereuse. You can see on the left how dangerous the, the road is. In all residential areas, they narrow the streets and planted trees to also give the, the space. On ne peut pas se croiser à deux voitures sur les passages piétons. Uh, two cars cannot um, cross at, at, the, at the point of the, um, of the pedestrian crossing. Voilà les, les humps, dans un humps. aménagement important du centre-ville. It's in the center of town. So everything that crosses the road, all the, the, the signs that cross the road and all the vertical signs are, uh, give priority to the pedestrian. And also everything that reduces the, uh, the lineal aspect and reduces the black and white character of the street also favors the, the, the pedestrian. So uh, you can see the evolution from the, the, the first image that we saw in 1980 of the, the pedestrian crossing to a total change of uh, surface, of, of the level of the surface. Route nationale. And this is a national road, That's so it's, a, it's quite a high, ca high level um, category in, in terms of hierarchy of roads. L'aide des parents d'élèves et, et les aménagements près des écoles ont été très favorables pour le début d'expérience de Chambéry. Well, so essential was the contribution of uh, school parents, school kids' parents, Um, as a lobby in the, at the beginning of the, of the scheme. Le, le musée de Chambéry, c'est la première école qui a été traitée, une planche expérimentale. This was the first uh, place that was um, where they, they, they tried it on. Plus de 30 ans maintenant. And that's over 30 years ago, yeah. Les écoles, toujours, avec différents types d'aménagements. Various schools with various schemes. L'école, c'est le bâtiment à gauche. The school is the, the building on the left. So here you have a, a, again a school in the center of town and the, um, the cycle route disappears and uh, becomes part of the platform, of the race platform. D'autres exemples. Devant les écoles, les collèges. So they have three, the toolbox they have has these three elements, the, uh, the pedestrian um, platform is the, the first one and that's that's a, 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 an example where you have the same level for, for. unfortunately we keep uh, having to put these uh, these bollards all this this um, um, furniture street furniture um, and that's because of the uh, lack of discipline by the drivers who if we didn't put these would be um, parking in places where there used to be a footpath We, we regret to have to have that as, because it, it keeps this idea of separation of space. Um, but uh, there's, there's no, for the time being, there's no other way of doing it. But we hope that one day the, uh, the car drivers will, be, uh, will, will no longer try to park there. Um, the transformation of a boulevard, which had a series of, of uh, lanes, into a, a, a completely different atmosphere where the pedestrian and the, and the space for the pedestrian has, has a priority. So this is, uh, uh, the second model is uh, having roundabouts where in the center the, um, the car has priority but on the periphery it's the pedestrian that has priority and then... Voici un exemple, ce, ce type d'aménagement peut être fait dans des carrefours très chargés, au-delà de 30 000 euh véhicules jour comme c'est le cas au carrefour de la poste. And this can be used in uh, injunctions that are very heavily um, 
used uh, up to 30,000 um, vehicles in this particular one. Um, and they, it, it works fine. Alors, naturellement, on ne peut pas traverser en diagonale quand on est piéton, mais on est prioritaire sur tout l'anneau, la collerette périphérique. So you cannot cross here diagonally, but you have priority on the whole of the ring around it. As you can see, it's a whole platform for pedestrians. La situation avant, après, la transformation. Before and after again. Détail. And this is the other type of, of roundabout where uh, the pedestrian has priority and can cross in any direction. And that, that's an example of it. En voici un autre, dans un ensemble beaucoup plus ambitieux, avec une voirie de plus de 15 000 véhicules jour. There are more than 15,000 cars uh, per day in this particular one, uh, which is in the centre of town. And uh, this will become, you know, we, we have a new legislation on meeting zones, and this will be one of the uh, the first one that will be designated as such. Uh, meeting zones, 20 kilometres. So 20 kilometers uh, vehicle, maximum speed 20 kilometers. So this, uh, the, this was done at the same time as a, build, a new building, which is a, a media tech kind of library and media center. Uh, so just quickly to show you the evolution of the, of the town with, with maps, it's a bit like an impressionist uh, map, uh, impressionist painting where you have sort of a series of uh, spots of intervention spots that eventually give you the whole picture. Voilà, on va montrer les photos sans trop de commentaires. So quickly a, a series of photographs. Evolution. There was a there was a very important uh, road uh, in yellow on the left hand side near near uh, uh, barracks, uh, and and they, there were two parts of the centre of town that were separated by this um, road, and so the, the idea was to. Premier to project qui a été détruit à cause de la construction nécessaire de la la médiathèque. So there was a first scheme, and that scheme was was. The new but later on demolished and then a new scheme. Uh, we're trying not to forget some roads and not give uh, priority to one against the other so that, the, that the, the, <coughs> the car driver will avoid the place that has been uh, redesigned and take another route. So we try to balance the interventions in both in, all the, all the routes. Voilà, on voit une vue aérienne avec la séquence de tous les traitements sur un même quartier. Uh, Here you see a whole neighborhood ouais. with a, very, ici, a series of. Uh, si un, un équipement public avec un traitement de devant, là aussi c'est celui de la médiathèque. Derrière uh, la même chose. Ici un rond-point. Ici des chicanes, etc., etc. So various, various uh, schemes in the same neighborhood. This is a neighborhood which is much more difficult, where there are um, roads which are very dangerous, very fast, a lot of traffic, and where the car is necessary because of the, of the form of the city, home, form of the buildings, and this major route in the middle of the neighborhood. So there were interventions in, at various points. He, he, he was the one who invented the concept of shared space and he went to Chambéry several times and has worked with them several times. Two phases successive. The first was very hard and then the l'aménagement final is a little bit more design. Two, two uh, phases of the same uh, uh, area where the first, the first intervention was very hard, very, very uh, noticeable and they, they, they soften it in the second phase. Or the same light you like. Okay. <coughs> uh, 
very speedy road. Avant que les arbres ne, ne grandissent. Okay, that's before the trees grow. So here the pedestrians are on a, on a bridge above the, um, the, the road. Okay. Um, that, that shows how the, uh, the, the creation of, of vertical elements and of elements that the car driver is not used to is a different language than the, the one that the, uh, the, the driver is used to. That is a way of slowing the traffic. So the whole of the centre of Chambéry is now uh, uh, 30 kilometres per hour, including that neighbourhood um, that we saw at the end. Et du coup, on a pu enlever beaucoup de signes qui sont à vendre, d'ailleurs, si vous êtes intéressé. So all those signs have been taken down and they're, they're for sale, you can buy them. So here you have the, the further statistics uh, showing a, a big improvement going from 600 victims to 38 victims in 30 years. And if you compare it to the statistics in the rest of France, Chambéry is twice as safe as uh, the average city of the same size in, in, in France. Et bientôt, euh, la législation française permettra de créer les, les meeting zones à 20 km h de vitesse limite. So this new legislation in France will allow now to create these meeting zones where the, the speed is reduced to 20 kilometers. Et naturellement, Chambéry bien placé pour uh, accéder immédiatement, comme elle, elle l'avait fait d'ailleurs pour les zones 30, and à cette nouvelle réglementation. Chambéry will take advantage of that, that um, new legislation as it did with the 30 kilometers per hour. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay.